Well, on the first visit, uh, I would have them come in and uh, they're going to fill out an intake form. The intake form is going to have general information, chief complaint, where they're feeling a lot of their discomfort. It's going to go through a little bit of history and a little bit of uh, family history. Uh, from there, I would uh, take them around the clinic, show them all the amenities that we have, including a sauna, private Pilates, yoga, chiropractic, and all that good stuff, and then bring them into the room. From there, I'm going to explain exactly what we're going to do so they know from start to finish what to expect. It's, I find it's very important that, that you set the correct expectations so that people aren't um, thinking that it's going to be something that it's not. From there, I, I like to uh, talk uh, and tell them a little bit about uh, Chinese medicine history. Tell them a little a bit about why we do the things that we do. Uh, help them to understand some of the concepts that they may not be familiar with. And then we can proceed. So from there, we'll go uh, and look at some of the intake stuff. See what's going on in the history. See if there's uh, any correlations that uh, I might be able to bring to light. Uh, from there, we're going to look at the tongue, we're going to feel the pulses, do palpation. Chinese medicine is known for its diagnostic skill, uh, very subtle, and we're able, that's one of the reasons why we're able to do uh, prophylactic medicine or, or preventative medicine. From there, we go into our first treatment, and the first treatment is typically pretty light. I'm going to use minimal needles just so I can see, number one, how you're going to react to the needles. Two, we can always do a full treatment with between one to really 20 needles, but I like to keep it around four to six needles most of the time, just so that the body's not overly inundated with information. Keep it simple. From there, we go into a plan. After the needles come out, we talk about what the next step is, what we want to do, where we want to go, how many treatments it might take, and depending on uh, what the syndrome is, we'll determine how many treatments approximately that it takes. But for a rule of thumb, I like to say that for every year that you've had a symptom, think about it as five treatments. Um, that, that's a, a good general rule to look at.